Hey everybody, welcome to Peppermint and Tobacco, a YouTube channel all about home fragrance, including candles. And today I'm going to bring a review of Nest Fragrance's Rose Noir and Oud candle. I also need your help on decorating ideas for Halloween. See you in a minute. Thanks everybody for coming back. If you're new to the channel, Peppermint and Tobacco is a channel all about home fragrance, especially candles. We do a lot of candle reviews. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. You know, uh, we've reached 300 subscribers, which is phenomenal. And because of that, I'm going to draw a name from our newsletter mailing list. So if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, be sure to do so below. I'll leave a link in the description, uh, video description below. I uh, use that to keep your email address safe, but I pull a drawing every time we meet uh, a special threshold, like the end of a month or when we reach a um, hundred subscriber threshold. So we've reached 300. I'm so glad that you've decided to join us. Um, today we're gonna talk about um, uh, Nest Fragrances Rose Noir and Oud candle. Uh, I have a hard time uh, saying Rose Noir and Oud. Um, I don't know, it sort of doesn't roll off my southern tongue very well. And I need your help getting some decorating ideas for Halloween. So let's start uh, by jumping into the candle review. So Nest Fragrances, I'll bring this up, has a lot of different um, scents. And the one that we're going to talk about today is Rose Noir and Oud. It comes in this box that has sort of a mauve or pink stripe. They have um, the stripe goes around and um, then the back has a description. Of the candle. This is a small two ounce votive uh, that retails for about $16. And then the candle itself is a small votive that has um, uh, various uh, frosted glass with clear glass um, stripes there. It's a um, creamy white wax. It's a um, soy wax blend that's pretty soft. It has a small nest um, sort of etching there that has um, Nest Fragrances as a brand. But it's very, very um, sort of, I, I don't want to call it plain, but it's very simple and it's very classic in their approach. Now, this is a small two ounce votive and it has a single wick, of course. This candle is phenomenal. So my experience with the Nest brand is that these little votive candles can be a fragrance powerhouse. In my experience, they are room filling. On cold, I'm getting a nice cold scent just in the air from, from the candle right now. Nest fragrances, if you haven't experienced them, are really, really fragrant. I mean, consistently nine and 10. So if Bath and Body Works for like eight to nine, these are like nine and 10. To the point where if you get a big one, like a big Nest candle, and we'll talk about the candle sizes in just a minute, it can be overwhelming in a small space. A big candle will fill a, like a large vaulted space with ease. So, let's talk about this candle. This two ounce candle will burn for around, I wrote made little notes, for around 20 hours until like, I've had a lot of success with these candles. These are perfect for powder rooms or bathrooms. They fit right on the back of a vanity. Um, they can uh, not take up a lot of space, but they send out a lot of fragrance. And so also for the back of a toilet. So this one is actually upstairs in our uh, water closet on the back of the toilet. So it's a great spot for a small boat. You just have to be careful. We don't have, <laughs> we don't have long hair in my household, but if you have long hair, don't put a, a, a burning candle on the back of the toilet. That's like a recipe for disaster. Price point is $16. So if you are, um, have some trepidation or if you're anxious about tiptoeing into Nest fragrances or more expensive luxury fragrances, these small votives are a great way to test them out. One of the things also that you'll find is that if you hit a price point, and I can't remember what the threshold is at the Nest Fragrances website, they send you, you're able to select free samples. And so they'll send you even an even smaller version um, that is also really great of testers so that you can try uh, different fragrances. So um, this small version, I can't say enough good things about it because it fits in in any decor. It's not really got, um, uh, you know, bold design features, and so it will settle right into any of your um, um, home decor design. So, you know, in some cases, like for example, I'm burning leaves by Bath and Body Works. This has um, 
the plastic wrap around it that is, looks beautiful. It has that grain wood approach with the cutout leaves, but for some people, their aesthetic, that just doesn't match. The um, nest fragrances are unobtrusive and can slide right in, whether you have modern or traditional or transitional California, you got the um, Pottery Barn look going on, Restoration Hardware, this will fit no matter what your decor. And that's one of the things I really like about the nest fragrance design. So they come in these um, boxes and the boxes have black matte uh, interiors and then they carry through the black matte all the way through. There's a little bit of cardboard packaging there and so the box is nice. So if you buy these as a gift, you know that they're coming in a really sort of full theme branding package and it keeps these uh, little votives nice and safe. So I haven't ever had a Nest candle that's arrived damaged or broken because they've uh, been packaged so well. And this sits without being able to move inside of the box, which also helps. So locally, I'm able to find Nest fragrances at um, the local Neiman Marcus and the local Nordstrom. Our Nordstrom actually has a, a bigger selection than the Neiman Marcus and they carry these 16 ounce votives. They have them in this sort of large sort of um, apothecary jar, like an old pharmacy jar, and you can just reach in. And they don't, they don't consistently have a variety of fragrance selections. A lot of times I see bamboo. Um, there has been, um, oh gosh, the ivy one. Tarragon and ivy has been in there a lot. I also find this at uh, Nordstrom Rack. So if you, it's still the same $16 price point, but I found Nest fragrances, especially discontinued holiday fragrances at Nordstrom Rack. So if you have a Nordstrom Rack nearby, check it out. One of the things that I'm looking forward to fall, they have a pumpkin chai fragrance, and it was not at Neiman's when I looked the other day, and it was not at Nordstrom. And I called Nordstrom, and they said, John, we're gonna get six. Last year we got six candles, and I can't imagine just getting six candles and she said it sold out practically in a day and so I was really um, looking on the website for the pumpkin chai candle and I was like just hesitant about making the dive because I don't want to buy the pumpkin chai and then not really enjoy it and so I wanted to smell it in store however I might be tempted because Nest Fragrances is on sale right now so um, I think it's the um, discount code is fall 19 i believe but if you go to nest fragrances website it's posted there 25 percent off of your order so if you get over 75 dollars which is like two candles basically you hit 75 dollars you also get free shipping so if you're ready to take the plunge you can probably find several fragrances in these small 16 ounce jars 25 percent off it's really a bargain and you can get a jump on holiday shopping so um Nest Fragrances has some really great uh, holiday items. I particularly like Blue Garden. Um, Blue Garden is their autism uh, fragrance and it is a really, really nice um, green lush floral that I just fell in love with this spring. So uh, I can't say enough good things. High quality, high intensity. I've had great experiences uh, with my Nest uh, Fragrances. Let's come back to this candle. So Rose Noir and Oud. So, this is basically saying like dark rose with a woody fragrance. And so let me read the back of the um, um, package. Rose de Mai and smoky oud are combined with hints of incense, black leather, and patchouli to create a sultry floral fragrance. And then it's in French, which is so nice. Um, so this has um, rose as a base. Like it definitely smells like a rose candle there is a powderiness to it and I'm not sure where the powderiness comes from whether it's the incense or the black leather but there's like a it definitely is sultry this would be a phenomenal candle to burn in the evening I really think this is like a cool evening uh, candle also great for fall if you're not into pumpkin or the spice um, line this will take you into fall. I found it in the, I was going through the candle closet the other day, making, uh, cleaning out, making inventory, and I remembered that I had this, and it has been such a joy burning in the bathroom upstairs. It is sexy and dark. It's not like a bright, sunny, crisp floral. It is soft and sultry and snuggle in and rich and enveloping. It is uh, definitely complex. Let's talk a minute just about Oud as 
uh, a fragrance. So there's uh, oud is also an instrument, and so I hope I'm saying it correctly. But oud is something that you're seeing a lot of in the fragrance industry, and oud comes from I did a little research the agar tree, which is native to Southeast Asia, originated in India, and so. They use agar trees and wood chips for incense, so it really has that sort of spicy incense sort of ritual feel to it. Definitely like slow down, take your time, relaxing, sort of thinking about contemplative uh, sort of uh, aspect. The cool thing about oud itself, it is not from the wood, but rather a um, parasitic mold. Get this, a parasitic mold attacks the agar tree the agar tree responds by creating a resin, sort of a sap, in response to the, that parasitic mold. And that sap, that sticky sap or the um, uh, mold resin is what creates the um, oud fragrance. And then it's either distilled from the tree or they harvest it and, and off of the tree. Is that not amazing? So it's not just the agar tree, but it's rather the, par the response of the tree to uh, parasitic mold which I think is just so fascinating. And how do people figure out that that was a, like a scent? I'm assuming they're burning the tree and they're like, this smells better than that, or that smells different. But in any case, it makes oud exceptionally expensive. And so Forbes um, listed that a pound of uh, the, the oud fragrance or the oud essence could be up to $5,000. So it's really, really expensive. So of course there are knockoffs and synthetic oud fragrances that don't quite match up. And so my hope is that due to the complexity and the expense of this particular candle, we're getting some authentic oud in, in the fragrance mix. My personal fragrance that I've been using for the past however many months, it's September, so nine months, I bought this small 50 milliliter Tom Ford Oud Mineral uh, fragrance for my, did I get it for myself or my partner got it for me? But anyway, we picked it out at Christmas time. We sort of switched gifts for, for each other. Uh, Tom Ford is an expensive uh, fragrance brand. It's luxury, luxury, luxury. Let me bring this up to you. And so it's, you know, he doesn't market things to men and women. It's all sort of like, um, it's got a little schmutz on it there. It's all sort of, you know, it could go either way. I use this just about every day and you can see that um, I do two sprays, one on the front of sort of chest and neck and then one on the back of my neck and you can see I haven't gone through a lot so it's a nice intensity. Um, this Oud Mineral has that smoky Oud along with um, sort of beach salty air fragrance and to me it's like driftwood, salty driftwood that's burned and in sort of a musky kind of way with tart and sharp and refreshing at the top. So oud is used both in um, fragrance, sort of like to men's fragrance, but also um, women, women's fragrance. And it is made to like great effect in this rose noir and oud candle. So I just think about like dark, rich roses, sort of dark chrysanthemums, deep purple, rich colors, those kinds of things. And it sort of brings me to Campfire Woods, which is the Scentworks candle. So this one is definitely like musky, burnt um, wood, fire, like Fireside. Um, I can't remember the name of the Bath and Body Works candle. I think it's called Fireside. But this Campfire Woods is a phenomenal uh, candle. So as we sort of move from Rose Noir and Oud, which I think is so lovely and a nice twist to fall, Campfire Woods is sort of inspiring me in this same sort of oud, woody, fire, fireside um, kind of look. So friends, thumbs up on Rose Noir and Oud if you like rose, if you like um, smoky, sultry, um, sort of, not, I don't, it's not earthy, it's woodsy and um, it's almost got like this refreshing crispness, soft powder to that uh, candle and it's amazing to me how rich and all and exacting the fragrance you smell when it's burning is to the fragrance that you smell on the candle.
pretty phenomenal. Okay, shifting now to thinking about decorating for Halloween. So, um, I was at Michael's today. I had to pick up some uh, yarn. I'm crocheting a baby blanket, which you all might have seen in, a, in, a, in another video. I've gotten a good start on the first couple of rows, and I'm excited about the way this baby blanket is going to look. And I'm thinking about decorating for fall. You know, it was like 95 degrees today, super hot, but I uh, wanted to get a jump on the fall decorating. And fall floral was like 40% off at Michael's while well, I was there and I just I don't know whether I was overwhelmed by the selection or just didn't find things that really spoke to me so you know I am not opposed to silk flowers I think that they're actually uh, like a fun ex a thing to explore I however tend to go more dry grass dry florals than the silk florals and I just didn't find a selection of dry florals that I was looking for so my thinking is for my sort of haunted Halloween table I'm going to use, it sort of is going to be this um, haunted mansion look. So you can see, and I sort of got all these dark uh, things out, but of course, like we've already talked about rosemore and oud and maybe campfire woods. I have the um, leaves candle out because I've just been enjoying it so much from Bath and Body Works. So it's, it's burning just to, to have out, but I did want to show something here. So these small busts, so this is a small bust that's on a um, uh, marble base. It's a, a bronze bust. Um, th that sort of reminds me of like the Haunted Mansion. And so this is a fun little um, antique store find. It wasn't very expensive. Uh, you can find these around. Uh, and it's sort of, you know, uh, a tchotchke from a European trip or going to Greece or Italy or something that somebody brought back. And so it's just a fun find uh, that you might want to put into um, uh, sort of this uh, Haunted Mansion kind of theme. I think about those heads that talk in the Haunted Mansion and that's sort of what was getting me there. And so this is a jar from Matajeta. And so this was what I bought myself for my birthday. I have uh, two of them and I bought them on auction. I actually need to clean it now that I'm that I'm looking at it. So this has got the neoclassical design. There are ram's heads here with wreaths and swags of roses and flowers. And there's different uh, goddesses here depicting uh, different scenes that it's in the pottery. And so this is not um, stone or metal. It's actually uh, pottery or porcelain. And if we turn it up, you can see the glazed porcelain on the inside. And Matajeta is uh, a company that's been around for a long time that makes uh, reproductions of important um, China works. And so this is their interpretation of a Wedgwood uh, vessel. Now the Wedgwood vessel will be thousands of dollars. This was not thousands of dollars. It was still pretty pricey. Um, and my thinking is that with this dark colored china porcelain that I would put sort of orange leaf, sort of, you know, think about orange maple leaves that would be in a spray that would come up and then some cattails and different kinds of like dyed uh, eucalyptus, sort of think about not just that green regular eucalyptus, but maybe they make burgundy and um, more um, orangey uh, dyed eucalyptus that would add into that. So that's what I'm thinking about in terms of that design sort of grasses, cattails, maybe a few. Um, now, silk leaves versus preserved leaves. So they make these preserved leaves that are actual leaves that have been dyed and colored. And that's what I was thinking about here rather than silk leaves. I did find some silk leaves, but y'all, that stuff is expensive. <laughs> I was at Michael's, I was like, even at 40% off, this still is pretty expensive. And then I wasn't sure that that's what I wanted. So, um, and then as I like began to get the bouquet together, I was like, oh my God, that's a lot. So my thinking is that I will start with um, leaves in this arrangement, sort of use the, a, a natural look. And so the vessel itself came with this stand. So this stand um, matches um, and it has beautiful swags that are in ribbons there, this great neoclassic design. And so this will stand like this on the little pedestal. And so that is one way of, of looking at it. But another thing that I was thinking about is using, I'm going to be very careful here with this lit Bath and Body Works candle, is that it happens to be a good pedestal for a Bath and Body Works candle. Now it's a little bit too small. So I may look for a candle and even maybe like 
the Nest uh, Fragrances Rose Warren Oud Single Wick Candle um, would be something uh, that would be good. Um, and that reminds me, I need to talk a second about those candles. But anyway, so I wanted to share with you that I might be able to nestle in a, um, uh, a fall candle into this scape, but I need it to look, you know, I like the way this Campfire Woods looks uh, with the dark purple. Um, so, I, you know, that might be a, a look. If I go with like orange and green leaves, sort of like, and red leaves, I might pull in you know, something else if I go that direction. So bringing in, rather than muted colors uh, that would just go grays and blacks, if I sort of pop it out um, with different colors, I might use something like this. But y'all, let me know what you think about my ideas about the um, sort of dry florals that I'm thinking about for the vessel and then the candle combinations. The other thing is I've shared with you all that I picked up these silver plate candelabras and these are fun because the candelabra actually comes apart. You can use it as a single uh, candlestick or you can use it as a candelabra, but I definitely think these candelabras add that haunted mansion feel. Now the only challenge is, is these are huge. So, you know, if you get a, a, a taper here, now granted it's going to be on a, a table that's a little bit lower than this, but you get it here. Now, somebody posted on a, either a Facebook video or a YouTube, on Facebook, uh, on a YouTube video or on my Instagram page and said, you know, this would be great for Halloween. And I, that's where it started. So if that's you, thank you for the inspiration. So think about, you know, if I were to lace or, and drape. So we'll start out with a fall look, right? So leaves fall look here, but I might move into Halloween, which would be black leaves, purple leaves. We'll bring back in this purple color. So maybe purple feathers, black leaves have the, the sort of black on black on black. Spider webs draping down over this, you know, sort of thinking about down to the table and then black tapers or purple tapers, things like that. So I need your help and advice, friends. So if you uh, wanna leave a comment below, let me know what you think, whether we go sort of this natural look and then um, sort of replace it with Halloween or we just do natural look and then forget about Halloween. Let me know what you're thinking. Wanted to come back briefly to the Nest candles. I totally forgot to say, these candles come in three different sizes. So they come in this small votive size that's $16, two ounces that has 20 hours of burn time. Then there is a classic candle, which is 8.1 ounces. It retails for $42 and it has a single wick that offers 50 to 60 hours of burn time. And then you can go to the Big Daddy, a three wick candle of the um, Nest Fragrances. It's $68, it's 21.2 ounces, 80 to 100 hours of burn time. Now, my experience with the classic candle one wicks are they are very fragrant, very intense, and that's plenty enough for the, my normal size spaces. If you have a large vaulted or open um, space, the three wick candle might be the thing for you. So, let me know what you think. Rosemore and Oud, do you love it from um, uh, Nest Fragrances? Give me some thoughts on um, my ideas for decorating for fall. I'll be coming back in a couple of days with that leaves review, so stay tuned for that. Thanks everybody for joining. Hey, we'll see you next time.